we'll have small definition about depth migration and in future uh, lecture we are, we are going to, uh, to discuss because it's mathematical uh, definition we will going to discuss the mathematical uh, basis, the mathematical models for the depth migration. Depth migration is applied to seismic data in depth coordinates, which must be calculated from seismic data in time coordinates. This method does therefore require a velocity model. So we have to start for depth migration from a velocity model making it resource making it resource intensive because building seismic velocity model is long and iterative process do you have any idea what iterative mean what iterative yes repetition we are repeating something and this repetition we are applying uh, is applied according to certain scheme in such a way that we are converging to solution. We are not randomly applying uh, repetition. We have many models for repetition. We have, for example, the grid search. We have, for example, the Newton uh, method. We have also uh, the genetic algorithm and neural network. All these are used for randomly and, uh, and uh, numerically uh, solving uh, for building the velocity model. The significant advantage to this migration method is that it can be successfully used in areas with lateral velocity variation, which tends to be the area that are most interesting to petroleum geologists. Some of the popularly used depth migration algorithms are we return with Kirchhoff or Kirchhoff depth migration and reverse time migration, Gaussian beam migration, and the wave equation migration. By this, we come to the end of today's lecture, but uh, I have to return back to your answers yesterday in the e-learning uh, quiz. Uh, of course, you, you, you did uh, well, but the, the problem of Fourier series seems uh, consistent. You are not able to understand that the uh, Fourier series rep approximation to a function cannot be just constant. And uh, unfortunately, a uh, number of you uh, give the final solution as constant and uh, some both uh, solutions uh, without justification why we have a for example equal zero why it's equal zero we have some some problem in uh, understanding what even and odd uh, means although we have a uh, video on the e-learning uh, facility that explain the situation. When you are making integration, definite integration, say for uh, minus one to one, x dx okay this is part of the uh, definition of the a null term this integration equals x squared divided by 2 between minus 1 and 1 so it equals now we will uh, substitute x squared by 1 and substitute x squared by minus 1. We have x squared substituted, substituted by 1 squared divided by 2. Okay? Minus 
minus 1 square divided by 2. The result is half, 1 half minus 1 half, which equals 0. So when we, 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 we say that x is, is odd, it means that the, as x is odd, the start and end are different, this meaning of odd. Uh, x is not, does not equal minus x. For if f of x does not equal f of minus x, so f of x here is, is called odd function. Okay? And if you replace this by the x, you will have here 1 and the minus 1, and clearly 1 does not equal minus 1. So the integration of odd function is 0. Okay? But in case if you have x squared, f of x equal x squared x squared is an even function because f of x equal f of minus x and both equal x squared so in this case if f is an even so we have value for the integration Maybe you need to, to review some of the uh, principle for integration and in your answers you need to justify if you say b equal 0 you will say okay p b equal 0 because 1 2 3 and yesterday exam we understand that a null and a n equal equal zero because x is an odd function. And when we multiply odd function with even function, the cosine, okay, we will end up with odd, with odd function. So a is, re is removed and a null is removed. So we'll end up with b which bn, which is equal 1 divided by 2 by uh, from uh, minus 1 to 1 x sine x dx okay x as, is an odd function sine x is an odd function so the final solution will be will be what? odd times odd gives even okay so, I want to, to solve this. I want to solve this, so I will use integration by parts. We have, uh, we can take, you um, can uh, take uh, u dv, we, we can take u equal uh, x and we can take dv equal sine x. So du will equal dx and the integration of sine x will be cosine x, okay, but uh, minus, okay. So the, the v will be minus cosine x. So this integration will be u times v, which, which is minus minus x cosine x, and also minus integration. We can now uh, just remove the minus 1 to, to 1 
and brought two, okay? Two will be here from zero to one. Okay. Uh, yes, cosine cosine x dx. Yes. One over one over t, which means one over one x. Yes, yes. Sorry. Okay. One over uh, it should be one over two. The range from minus one to one. Okay. 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 No problem. Okay. So it's now here we have two, and here to find this one, it's so simple. It becomes we have two times minus x cosine x minus or plus sin x between 0 and 1. Then we are going to evaluate the value and then obtain the value. I'm sorry. So the whole, the whole term will be once uh, substituted by x and once substituted by y. So at the end, we don't have in the definition of the B uh, cosine or sine. We'll have values uh, in our hand. So since we do need in terms of N, do you define the answer B in terms of N as well? Excuse me? Since it's B N, right? So the final answer should be in terms of N rather than the final answer, right? Yes, yes. You're right. Okay. So, as a final, I'm sorry, sorry. So, we have here, sorry. This one is uh, sine nx, sorry. Okay. Accordingly, we will have here dv sine sin nx, okay, and this will be uh, uh, n n in the in the denominator cosine nx, and so on. We will end up with uh, these values, and then we'll understand that when we have we have two situations, one where n is odd and one when uh, n is even so uh, one of them will be when we are going to substitute will be zero so it will be uh, uh, vanishing and then we have certain value for the b coefficient okay so this what the the solution should uh, should end it's not uh, 2 pi and n and cosine x divided by sine x divided something. Okay? So I, I want you to evaluate this, this situation and send to me by, by email. Okay? I want you to evaluate this integration independently. I hope every one of you depend on, his, on himself only and do not uh, uh, copy from a friend or so and depend on himself to find the final solution. And you will, give, you will be given, you will be assigned 
also some bonus. Okay. Uh, as for today's uh, uh, session, extra session, I uh, we are, we are going to Lankawi next Sunday uh, for uh, experiment, and we have some time limited. So I uh, I ask you to postpone the today's because because we are going to to go buy some wires and so. On.